Chem 110B sample final number 15 given this equilibrium reaction and a K value, the equilibrium constant and a whole bunch of concentrations at equilibrium we want to find the equilibrium concentration of the H2 well anytime you're given K or you need to find K you need to write the equilibrium constant expression and that is reactants over products or products over reactants? What do you remember? It's product concentrations taking the power of their coefficients multiplied together making sure that gases or aqueous are used solids and liquids are not taking the power of their coefficients. Okay, so that's the formula. And what are we solving for? What are we solving for? We're solving for this. We're solving for the H2 concentration. So let's get that up there right away. Solve for it first, doing the simple algebra. And then we can plug and check. H2 to the seventh power is equal to the C3H8 concentration times the H2O cubed concentration divided by the carbon monoxide cubed concentration divided by K. Okay, we know what C3H8 is. It's 0.154. We know what H2O is, it's 0 0.071, but we have to take it to the third power. We know what CO is, 0 0.035, take it to the cube power, and we know what K is, 9.3 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, so we're multiplying this times this, divided by that times that, and what do we get? we get 13.82 you better get that but remember what is that equal to it's not equal to the H2 concentration it's equal to the hydrogen gas concentration taken to the seventh power so how do we take care of that well we have to take the seventh root of both sides which is the same as taking it to the one seventh power and taking 13.82 to the 1 7th power is easy. 13.82 caret parentheses 1 divided by 7. Close parentheses, hit equals. Okay? Whatever it takes so that you end up with to two sig figs, right? Because this is 3, this is 2, this is 2, and this is 2, so the answer is going to be 2. 1.5. And since the seventh root of something to the seventh power is just equal to the something, now we're solving for this. It's the H2 concentration. So you must show the units in moles per liter. Okay? Be careful how you punch things in your calculator and how you use your calculator. And, of course, with your sig figs too, if you need more practice. And of course, I know you do. That's at Quiz 9, Chapter 11, Exercises 11B, C, D, E, F, and especially G. Okay, that'll help. Get on it. Good luck.